Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to talk about all of the fragrances that I wore last week. So I've got a ton here, and I'm gonna jump right in. Okay, so um, we had a complete weather change over the past week. Um, this is how it goes in South Carolina. Uh, it goes from like 85 degrees one day to not getting above 50 the next day and that's exactly what happened this past week like um, earlier in the week it was still up in the 80s it was super hot um, we had like a massive heat wave and then it just plummeted so the next day we woke up it had gotten below freezing that night and we woke up to I think the high the next day was 54 degrees so like a, almost a 30 degree change it was crazy overnight but anyways, in the beginning of the week when it was still warm out, I wore this combination here. This is my Guerlain Aqua Allegoria Rosa Pop. Um, I hadn't worn this for a couple of years. I absolutely adore this fragrance. This is one of my favorite Aqua Allegorias. It's kind of like a violety smelling, like a violety irisy smelling rose. It's sweet, it's fun, it's great in warm weather. It's just such an amazing fragrance. I love this one. It just does not perform super well. So I pulled out my um, my generic perfumes, Rose Cherie, Guerlain Rose Cherie, which is like one of the um, higher end, like the Arts and Materials line fragrances. This is beautiful too. This is much more grown up smelling than Rosa Pop. This has a really beautiful kind of deepness to it. It's gorgeous. Um, it definitely still smells like a Guerlain fragrance though. Really, really gorgeous. The combination was stunning. This wore off after maybe two hours. And then I was just left with the Rosa, uh, or sorry, with the Rose Cherie oil. And this is amazing. An absolute beast, lasts forever. Um, I could smell this for hours and hours. It's such a beautiful oil. I love generics oils. And the longer I've had them, the better they're getting. Um, they're j it's just such a great oil company. I love them. So anyways, that was the first, <laughs> hey baby. That was the first combination I wore. Uh, Guerlain Aqua Allegoria Rosa Pop, and then generics version of Guerlain Rose Cherie. I also at some point wore this. Um, this is, I think I put this on later it, that day um, as the Rose Cherie was kind of starting to, kind of, kind of starting to wear off. Uh oh. It's okay, mama, it's okay. Um, this is a body oil. This is from Kate's Magic. This is, it says intention-based aromatherapy. This was sent over from a beautiful friend, Christine. Um, this is the scent called Sphinx Moth. It is grounding and empowerment body oil. Um, let's see here. It is oak moss, oak moss, bergamot, ylang ylang. Um, it's very, I love it. It's very... It's definitely like very natural, very, very warm, grounding, earthy, just beautiful. It smells like, kind of like a health food store. I love it. I love it so much. Um, yeah, it's an amazing oil. It is wonderful on the skin, super hydrating, which my skin has been so my skin has been so dry. Sorry, you might hear the little kittens out here and he is just like, everywhere he's into everything he's exploring and just having the best time so you might be able to hear him clawing around on stuff in the background but anyways yeah amazing body oil again it's from kate's magic and it is called sphinx moth okay next i wore a little vanilla combination um i pulled out my dreamy vanilla type oil from um, sweet essentials and dreamy vanilla oh gosh i love this this is um Victoria's Secret Dreamy Vanilla, which sadly they don't have anymore. This is delicious. It's like a yummy, sweet, kind of slightly perfumey vanilla. I love it. These oils, some of these oils have gotten so much better over the years too. Um, this is definitely one of them. And then I also sprayed on, uh, layered over that, my Camille Beckman French Vanilla Perfume. I think I think this is on sale for ten dollars right now i love this this is vanilla it's just like a really warm pretty simple vanilla 
Nothing groundbreaking, kind of a little bit perfumey, more perfumey than it is gourmand. Um, I really love it. It doesn't last very long. You can get maybe 30 minutes to an hour out of this before you would need to reapply. Um, but I love having it in my collection. It's just an easy to reach for vanilla. I love layering it. Um, I love using using it to layer. Hi, baby. And it's just a great little, great little vanilla perfume. So yeah, wore that. I wore two of my CJ Scents perfumes. So I wore pumpkin tobacco, which is one of my abs, I mean, I love all three of them. It's hard for me to say I have a favorite, but I absolutely love pumpkin tobacco. This is just like a, it smells like a spicy, creamy pumpkin with a beautiful tobacco note in the background. It's gorgeous. It's an absolute monster of a fragrance. It keeps, it just gets deeper and richer the longer I have it. It's amazing. I love it. So I wore that one. And then I also wore the new one, um, Pumpkin's Night Out. I love this. This is beautiful. Ugh, this is a little bit lighter. It's like a creamy, boozy pumpkin. A sweet, creamy, boozy pumpkin. It's really beautiful. It doesn't have a, it doesn't have a lot of the spice that the other two have, but I need to let this sit <laughs> and macerate. I've been wearing the heck out of it since I got it. Um, I need to let it sit and do its thing for a while um, because it's just going to continue to get better, richer, deeper, more complex, just ugh, more beautiful. Um, but yeah, I wore that one. I love it. Pumpkin's Night Out. And then also from CJ Scents, I used my sample of bourbon apple. Um, I used the whole sample. This thing was an absolute beast and really beautiful. This is heavier on the bourbon than I would say on the apple. It's a really strong, like beautiful bourbon fragrance. Um, it was an absolute monster of a fragrance and yeah, it's probably, this is probably pretty new so I can only imagine, sorry that baby's over there playing. So I can only imagine what this would do after sitting and macerating for like three to six months. It would probably just be phenomenal. It was already phenomenal phenomenal, and it was already like a beast. I smelled like this for a good 10 hours at least. It was crazy. So that is CJ Scents Bourbon Apple. Then I wore this little combination. I wanted to wear my Dua Tonka Licious. Ugh, I had this in one of my fall videos and I could not put this away before wearing it. I love this. This is a clone of Guerlain Tonka Imperial. This is just a beautiful, warm Tonka fragrance, really. Uh, leans slightly masculine, so usually when I wear this, I'll layer a sweet vanilla over it to kind of um, temper a little bit of that masculinity. So I pulled out my Coco Pink uh, Tohoda fragrance. I love this. This is a yummy, warm, sweet vanilla. It's really beautiful with a little bit of musk in it. So it, this was a gorgeous combination. Loved it. Um, neither of these last a super long time. I can only get, I don't know, a few hours out of them. So the combination was right about that. <laughs> I got maybe three-ish hours out of this combination, which was totally fine. I just put something else on after. But yeah, really, really nice combo. I really love this one. So that is Dua Tonkalicious and Coco Pink Tohoda. Ooh, next, I was like on a vanilla, chocolate, pumpkin, like warm, yummy kick this week. And I pulled this out. This is another one. So I've had a few people tell me that their Chaka Musk oil, after it has sat for like a long time, it just keeps getting stronger and per starts performing even better. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pull out my Chaka Musk oil. I've got two more of these um, stashed away somewhere. This is the one I've gotten used though. Gosh, this is about, it's about halfway full. Um, Oh, it's so good. I love this. This thing is an absolute beast now. I could not believe it. This used to not like when it was brand new. Um, I could get a few hours out of it. It was fine, but it wasn't like, you know, super long lasting. This thing is super long lasting now on me. I love this. This is like a really vanilla heavy um, chocolate. I love it. It's beautiful. Um, and then I layered my Gallagher Wicked Good over it. Wicked Good is chocolate, Madagascar, vanilla, and tonka bean. 
This is my most favorite chocolate fragrance on the planet. Um, this is one of my most favorite fragrances on the planet, period. I absolutely love this perfume. I'm obsessed with it. It is a monster. I smelled like this until I took a shower the next day. I mean, it's just an absolute beast of a fragrance. It's so beautiful and yummy and expensive smelling and well-made. It's such good quality. It's perfection. I love this perfume. If you love chocolate, ugh, I don't know why you don't have this in your collection because this is one of the best chocolate perfumes on the market, hands down. And especially if you love Tonka, because it's really heavy on the Tonka too. Perfect. It's completely unisex. This would smell amazing on a man. I just think it would smell incredible on anybody. And this combination was delicious. The Chaco Musk added just a touch of sweetness to this and it was perfection. It was magic. I will be using this combination. I'm going to be putting my Chaco Musk oil right next to this now um, because I will be wearing this combination a ton. This I this is one of my most worn perfumes in my collection. I wear Wicked Good so so much. Well, I haven't. Maybe over the last year I hadn't, but but last year, holy cow, I couldn't put this away. So, anyways, that is Gallagher Wicked Good and Al Rahab Choco Musk. Next we have Michel Germain Sugarful. I wore this on another one of the warm days that we had before it like turned and got freezing. I love this. This is, again, it's like a sugar bomb. It's sweet, sugary, sweet tarts. I mean, if you could imagine what the powdery sweet, like, you know, what the powder of um, crushed up sweet tarts would smell like, that's what this smells like to me. It's beautiful. It's, um, I didn't get, I didn't have great luck with performance on this one this time though. It might be because I usually wear this in cooler weather. It was pretty warm the day that I wore this. Um, so it could be because of that. Um, so I'm going to leave this one out and I'm going to wear it again now that it's cooler and see if I have better luck because I only got a few hours out of this um, in the warm weather. So um, anyways, do love this one though. It's delicious. If you want to smell like candy, this is it. But without smelling super juvenile because it doesn't smell juvenile at all. Um, I love it. Gosh, it's delicious. So anyways, that is Michelle Germain Sugarful. Next, I pulled out my original formulation of Dior Addict. Um, I rationed this one because I don't have, um, I don't have much left in here. I've got, well, yeah, I've probably got about a third of a bottle left. Um, I absolutely adore this. I love it, but I don't need to ration this because I think the, the newest formulation is phenomenal too. Um, and I don't get a huge difference between the two. This one's got more notes in it and it's a little bit more complex smelling, but the new formulation is just as good in my opinion. I, I think that it's amazing. I wouldn't be sad if I didn't have this in my collection anymore and I only had a bottle of the new formulation. I'd be perfectly fine um, because I have the same experience with both. I do love this though and I saw it sitting there and I was like, I'm gonna wear this one. I've got much more of this one left than I do the new formulation so I'm gonna start using this one um, because there's no reason not to. I need to just wear it and enjoy it. I love Dior Addict. This is one of my favorite fragrances ever. I used to prefer YSL Manifesto over Addict and I don't anymore. I don't know if my nose has changed or maybe because my chemistry has changed, but I actually prefer Addict over Manifesto. I adore them both, don't get me wrong. I love Manifesto. Um, <clears throat> but there's just something about Addict that's just a little bit darker and richer and sweeter and I just adore it. I love it so much. This is a monster. Um, I get a good 10, 12 hours out of this easily. Um, it's a perfect fragrance. I adore it. So that is Dior Addict. This next one, golly, I cannot believe that there was a time that I did not like this fragrance because I am so obsessed with this perfume now. Um, this is another Gallagher. This is Gallagher Rosé all day, and I'm obsessed with this perfume. Um, I absolutely love this. This is magic on me. This is comfort in a bottle. This is amazing. I wore this the the day that it like 
that the high was only 54 degrees. It got so cold overnight. I wore this the next day and it was perfection. I only wash my hair a couple times a week and so I smelled like this for days until I washed my hair, like three days until I washed my hair. Um, because the day that I wore this was the day that I had washed my hair, so it was gonna be a, a good three days before I washed it again. And I still smelled like this. Like, my hair still smelled like this when I washed my hair. It's insane how incredibly potent this perfume is. Um, I will tell you though, this smells completely different when you're in like ambient warm air like of, of your house than if you, when you go out into the cold. When I walked out the door and that cold hit me, I immediately got that stainless steel note, like the metallic note. And it's funny because I normally absolutely detest a metallic note in perfume, but there was something so interesting about what it did, how it changed like immediately going from the warm air of the house out into the really cold air outside and then all of a sudden I could smell that stainless steel which I hadn't been able to smell seconds before when I was in the house. It's wild but yeah I love this perfume. I love it more and more every time I wear it and it's this to me is a masterpiece. Um, I don't say that often about perfumes but for me this is a masterpiece. This is a masterpiece rose perfume. I love it. I love it so much. I'm obsessed. So anyways, that is Gallagher Fragrances Rosé all day. Um, and then last but not least, I wore a couple of perfume oils. Um, I wore pistachio and cardamom cake. This, I just, this is a fragrance that I was just craving, so I dug it out. This is delicious. It is pistachio. It's sweet, sweet pistachio, vanilla, and cardamom. A really warm, beautiful, smooth cardamom. It's stunning. I need to try layering this with Lune Feline. Um, I've wondered about the combination for a long time, wondering if this would smell delicious with Lune Feline, and I think it would. So I'm going to try that combination and I will let you know soon um, how that works out. But this is an amazing oil from Sweet Essentials. That one is called Pistachio and Cardamom Cake. Um, doesn't last a super long time. I think I got maybe about four hours out of that or so. And then after that wore off, I put on my uh, generic Shalimar uh, Millicene Vanilla Planifolia fragrance. I love this. I can wear this any time of year. I actually think that I prefer this in warmer weather than I do cold weather. Um, in cold weather, it gets really, I don't know, I guess, in cold weather on me, I lose a lot of the vanilla and I get just a lot of the Shalimar, which is fine. I love Shalimar but I miss the sweet, yummy vanilla in the cold. So I think I'm gonna put this one away until warmer weather again, because I think I've found that I enjoy this more in warmer weather than in cooler. Absolute monster. Um, this is like a 12 plus hour fragrance. You're gonna smell like this until you wash it off, which I did. <laughs> um, I smelled like this until I washed it off the next day. Uh, but I do love this. And like I said, generic just has some amazing clone oils. So that is generic Shalimar Millicene Guerlain Shalimar Millicene Vanilla Planifolia. And that is going to be it guys. Those are all of the fragrances that I wore last week. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.